Where did the refugees come from? I don't mean did they come from Syria or Afghanistan, that we know. But why did they come? Okay, they came because of war. Where did the war come from? From my country. From the CIA, which first started to overthrow the Afghan government back in 1979. The U.S. has been involved in Afghanistan in war, both covert and overt, for nearly 40 years. Iraq, absolutely against international law, of course, perhaps often called the most dreadful foreign policy decision in modern times, an absolutely unprovoked war, killed hundreds of thousands, displaced millions, created disaster, blowback, and refugees. And what about Syria? Was that really the result of the protests on the ground? No. That was the result of a decision of the United States and Saudi Arabia and France and others to try to overthrow Bashar al-Assad. I'm not here to make a brief for Bashar al-Assad, but I am here to say that covert regime change is against the law and is an unmitigated disaster. But the problem is, where was Europe's foreign policy? I kept looking. It, is there a foreign policy? I, I even took out my microscope. I couldn't even find a microscopic foreign policy. Because where was Europe to say, no, U.S., you know, the president signed an order, a secret order, which once in a while shows up in our newspapers, for the CIA in Saudi Arabia to coordinate for the overthrow of Assad. Where was Europe to stand up and say no? Well, some countries in Europe were cheering. That's a disaster. Most were not cheering, but most were completely silent because there's no foreign policy to speak of. So the idea that the only policy is to debate should we accept refugees or not is not right. The real policy is stop the wars that are producing them.